Hey there, this is Akshay Dhanan. Welcome back to a new video. In the last part, we were seeing the theoretical section of inheritance, right? As said, as I said, that in this video, we will be seeing the practical examples and we'll be coding the examples of inheritance, right? So if you remember, like, can you list down the types of inheritance in the comment section? Just pause the video and do it, right? I hope you did it. And uh, what are the types of inheritance that we studied in the last video? Single inheritance multi-level inheritance and hierarchical inheritance. These are the three most used types of inheritance in any programming language whenever you are building a software, right? So first of all, I'm going to show you a simple example of inheritance, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a class. I'm going to use the same example, right? Same example. And we are going to say electronics class, class electronics, right? And this electronics class is going to have certain properties. First of all, every electronics item has a height, width and thickness, right? So height is, it is going to be in double. So double height, double height, double width, double thickness, right? And we can denote certain uh, default values. Right? Let's say height is 50 width is let's say 100 and thickness is let's say 10 right these are certain default values perfect and we can have some uh, default functions right common functions let's say watch you are obviously going to watch an electronics item right it can be tv it can be mobile phone it can be a tablet right it can be anything it can be an eye watch uh, so you are going to watch it right so i can have a um, function void function let's say watch function right and this is this function is going to say print electronics item item is being watched right perfect this is perfect now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a class mobile phone right class mobile phone and this mobile phone is going also going to have a height, width, thickness and watch and certain other, other functions. You can call through a mobile phone. You can play games on a mobile phone, right? This is going to electronics, electronics. Perfect. Now, what I'm going to do is this mobile phone class is a child of electronics class because every property which is there in the electronics class is going to be there in a mobile phone like a child, right? So mobile phone is going to extends like you extend your parent, right? So this mobile phone extends electronics. Electronics. Now, all of these properties are also the properties of this mobile phone, right? Now what I'm going to do is I can have certain other functions in this, in this mobile phone class. What I can do is I can have a void play games function, right? So I can say, I can say print play games, play games in mobile phone, on mobile phone, right? This is one function. I can have another function, void uh, call, right? Call function. calling through mobile phone, right? I can print it. Right now I can format it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a void min function. I'm going to create an instance of this mobile phone class. And you will see that I'm going to set these height, width and thickness without having this height, width and thickness in my mobile phone class. So this function needs to be some different name because call is already, uh, uh, keyword in dart so i can say uh, call contact right now what i can do is i can create a void main function void main function right and i'm going to create a object of this mobile phone so mobile phone we have already learned how to create objects in previous classes so mobile phone mobile phone is equal to mobile phone 
right so this is an object of this mobile phone class now i'm going to set the height width and thickness of this mobile phone right so mobile phone now you will see the magic mobile phone dot if i do dot you can see height thickness width and this watch play games everything is there as a property of this mobile phone i can set the height of this mobile phone as 45 right i can set the width of this mobile phone right and i can set the thickness of this mobile phone and i can let me set the thickness let me set the thickness right width is going to be lesser so i can make it let's say 25 thickness let's say 4 right now i have set the properties of this mobile phone uh, height width and thickness properties of this mobile phone you can see they are not a part of this mobile phone class they are coming from the electronics class right perfect now what i'm going to do is i am going to have void print height function and this function actually prints the height height of item and it is going to print the height perfect similarly i can have a print width function and print thickness function in my electronics function in my electronics class not in my mobile phone class right now so that i can show you that height width and thickness are actually set i am not bluffing right print thickness this is going to become width and this is going to become thickness perfect now i can call these two functions call these three functions and you can see these three functions are not there in my uh, mobile phone class they are coming from this electronics class but i can use it through my mobile phone object so mobile phone dot print my height then i can just copy it print my width print my thickness and i'm also going to print the functions which i have defined explicitly for my mobile phone that is let me just copy it print it print you can see these two functions play games and call contact so i am going to call play games and call contact perfect now i can just format my code and you will see that how this single inheritance this is a single inheritance because my electronics class only has one child that is mobile phone right mobile phone this is not hierarchical this is not multi level right so call contact okay this there is one mistake over here we need to close it like this perfect now it is perfect now i can perfect everything is working right i hope you understood the code let's run it Yes, you can see the height of my mobile phone, which I set over here, forty-five. This is getting printed. My default value is not getting printed, right? Forty-five is getting printed as a height, right? Because I set the height of my mobile phone. I set the width of my. Okay, so this is a uh, width, and this is thickness. Let's run it again. Perfect. I got the height of my item. I got the width of my item. I got the thickness of my item, and I got this two functions getting printed also: play games on mobile phone and calling uh, through my mobile phone. Right. So you saw that how I used this inheritance to reduce my number of properties uh, in my child class. Now, if even if I want to have a television class, I can do it. I can just do it. Mobile phone. It will become television, and the same thing. I'm going to extend my electronics. and this is not going to have these two functions right i can again over here create a television class object television television is equal to television right and i can set the height width and thickness of my television i can just do it like this and this is going to replace this this and this right and then i'm going to print the height width and thickness of my television right 
so television is going to replace this mobile phone mobile phone and mobile phone i can just format it i hope whatever i'm doing you are understanding it's not rocket science it's simple object creation and just calling the functions and call setting the variables right just run it and you are going to see yes height of my item i you can set a different height let's say my uh, my tv height is 67 my width of my tv is let's say 23 and thickness is let's say uh, 10 and then if i just run it you are going to see that the height of my television is going to be different than height of my uh, mobile phone i hope this was clear i hope you understood this um, uh, this <laughs> inherent and simple examples and i hope you will be uh, all set to use this in your flutter apps right till next content keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot